I'm kind of doing a story on you know rebuilding the Idaho program and okay. the challenge. So I'm gonna start off just what are the challenges of rebuilding a program for like a college football program? Well, I think the the, the number one challenge is uh, everybody involved in the program, not only coaches, players, but everybody that uh, follows the team has to have patience because when when you're rebuilding a program. Uh, the, the worst thing you can do is go for the quick fix. Uh, bring guys in that aren't uh, academically qualified but, or don't fit in, fit in socially, um, and, but they're a good football player. So you, you go out and you get them and you convince them to come to your institution and then they get here and it's just not the right fit. So you gotta really uh, do things, as we say in the business, the right way, which means uh, go recruit your, your brand of player uh, that fits your mold, fits your philosophy, that uh, fits into your culture. Uh, and it's not easy to go get 25 of those guys a year. So you have to take your time, go get them, and train them the way you want. And then after four to five years, then the proof will be in the pudding. Is that kind of you're more looking for, I hate to say, like diamonds in a rough or, you know, those lower guys that aren't getting recruited? Well, th th that's not always the case. Sometimes it's just taking guys that are a year or two away from being ready to really help you win. But you know that in the long haul that they're winners. They're guys that are going to succeed in the classroom. They're go going to add to the cultural fabric of the university. Uh, they're going to be good citizens uh, and also good football players. Does that make it even tougher because you're recruiting those guys that are you know, not immediately ready to play and then that makes these next couple of years even Yeah, yeah, you have program. to, you, and that's where everybody needs their patience and needs to understand what you're doing and that the best days are down the road. So as far as that, where is this program, where do you see this program at? Like well, I, there's no doubt in my mind we're past the first step. Uh, mm -hmm. When I got here, I can see that not only do we have some uh, talented upperclassmen, but also a good infusion of talent in the lower in the lower grades. So, uh, and at the end of the day, uh, coaches' program will be built with these younger guys over the next three to four years. So, uh, let these guys develop. Let, let them. Let us get a couple classes in uh, of the right kind of guys. Let us develop them, and then let's see a championship program. You've been at some bigger schools, Notre Dame, Cincinnati. Sure. What are the differences between like building and rebuilding the programs there and then at UI? Well, there's more commonalities than uh, differences. And it all boils down to what, what did you have when you took over? You know, sometimes, uh, for example, when we went to Cincinnati, we took over because the coach was successful and he went on to Michigan State. Then we've also gone on the programs where the coach was let go. And, and that's because the program wasn't trending in the right direction. And it seems to me that uh, at the time when coach was hired, the program was trending downward. So the first thing he had to do was stop the bleeding, which obviously he's done. Now we need to start start building and moving forward. And then just like we kind of touched on like recruiting wise, what what do you tell a recruit uh, just kind of like about Idaho and like where we're at and where we're heading? Well, I think the first thing is uh, it's a great opportunity to come and get on the field early. And every guy who's a true ball player wants to play early. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to go to bigger schools or uh, go to programs that are winning right now, but how bad do they need you? You know, sometimes a program wants you, but go to a place where you're absolutely needed. Like, we need you to get on the field for us right now. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind, we need a lot of, a lot of help. Uh, from this class that's coming in. So I think we have a great sales pitch right there. There's been a lot of close games this season. You yep. guys have almost pulled out a few. Are those part of the growing pains of rebuilding a program? There, there's no doubt. And uh, again, it, it would be easy to to make a, to make paint it with a broad brush and say, well, that's because uh, we didn't win those games because of our youth. Sometimes it's the upperclassmen just as much as the young guys uh, learning how to win, learning how to finish games, uh, understanding all the lessons we try to teach during summer camp and during during the season about finishing things, why we try to every drill, why we finish through a line, why we uh, give maximal effort to the whistle, uh, why we have to go hard, not only at the end of practice, but in the beginning and in the middle, it's because it, it simulates what a game is like. And, and teaching 60 guys to go as hard as they can for 60 minutes, a 60 minute game, uh, those lessons aren't always easy to teach, so it takes time. 